And first at six, two lives cut short by a crash in Springfield and a driver still on the run. The deadly accident happened on Columbus Avenue in the early morning hours. And while officials are now searching for the driver, a community is left to cope. Tyler Yutska is live with the new information that he's learned. Yeah, definitely a sad day here in the Springfield area. Now, counseling was offered to all of those students that are grieving. Now, authorities are just waiting for 19-year-old Angel Rojas, who was the driver of that car, to one, turn himself in, or two, be turned in. Just call us and let us know, um, or try to encourage him. If they don't want to reach out to us uh, specifically, reach out to him and tell him to turn himself in, do the right thing. Uh, these families need closure, especially with two, two, two people killed, two kids, really. Uh, the one girl, she's 18 years old, the other one was 21, so just beginning their lives. Ohio State Patrol says 19-year-old Angel Rojas was the driver of the vehicle that crashed in this utility pole in Springfield Township. Rojas is still on the loose. The crash killed two people, 21-year-old Juan Compton and 18-year-old Tristan Sherman. She was a Springfield High School senior. She was making that transition from the world of children in, in school to the world of being an adult. Authorities say 19-year-old Devin Moore is being treated at Miami Valley Hospital for a broken back and has already undergone surgery. The front seat passenger, 18-year-old Ashley Predmore, suffered minor injuries. All involved are Springfield residents and some have ties to Springfield schools. An incident like this, the death of, of children, has a profound impact on the school community. And we want to be in a position I've worked very hard to be in a position to support everyone involved in this. And we're told by authorities that Rojas could be facing charges for fleeing the scene as well as aggravated vehicular homicide. Live in Springfield Town Township, Tyler Yutska, 